So in this video, I want to take a quick look at the Lamy Persona Rollerball. This used to be Lamy's flagship pen before it was replaced by the Emporium. And they're essentially the same pen, but the Persona is no longer made the and the Emporium is. So if you're looking for a bargain, you can buy a Persona for relatively cheap and the pen has largely fallen out of favor. And the I don't think the Emporium has really been much of a hit. So if you like the design, you could get one of these for maybe half of the retail price if you're willing to buy it off eBay. So uh, just to get into it, this is a Mario Bellini pen. I think he's a fairly well-known designer, but he only did those two pens for Lamy, the Persona and then the Emporium. And again, I don't think either of them have been very big hits. They're both very expensive and they're essentially the same pen. I'm not really clear why Lamy changed the design from one to the next. Uh, there are a few very subtle tweaks, but you always see one being sold as the other on eBay. So you have to watch out. So here it is, the Persona in a rollerball, also sold as a fountain pen, ballpoint, mechanical pencil, and uh, I think that's it, just those four. So uh, the main design feature is this sort of uh, column type design. I don't know if that's uh, Doric or Ionic, Ionic or whatever. Corinthian, one of the columns, it's a column type design, uh, or maybe it's channels, I don't really know, but it's all metal. It's uh, very striking, feels pretty good in your hand. Obviously it's quite well made. Here we have uh, the section or the grip area is also metal. It runs the same sort of channel design running perpendicular to the main, uh, the main body. There is some threading here, and you can see the threading is really cleverly tucked away. It's very little threading, uh, and just sort of integrated to design really nicely. At the front and back, we have gold hardware, which is nice and kind of gives that pen that sort of high-end vibe. This is sort of a gifty type pen. I don't know if too many people are buying these pens for themselves. It's kind of really something like you did a big deal, you want to buy someone a pen, they graduate, and like every company has a pen like that and they do uh, you know, unnecessarily gold and it's probably a little bit more ornate than it needs to be. And the Persona and now the Emporium are that pen for Lamy. The cap is metal. It, uh, I have it here just to get into the color. This is the titanium color. It's uh, sort of a, uh, like a bronzy brown type color. I believe it's called titanium. It might be called platinum, but uh, again, it's sort of a, a grayish, the hint of brown, kind of the way titanium does look. It matches pretty nicely with the gold. Although these are also sold in black, which is much nicer looking in person than matte black. And I believe a very small run of them were made in Macrolon, uh, which is very cool. I've never seen one of those in person. And then some of them were made in all silver in platinum. The, the color is called platinum, it's not made of platinum. And that's uh, like a silver chromed one. This is, again, this is the titanium one, not the platinum. Platinum is the chromed one, very cool looking. Back to the cap, all metal. Uh, it has a gold clip, which is spring loaded. So that's very cool. It's one of the higher end features on the pen. Uh, you can see my cap is a little dinged up. This thing is made of metal, but it's made of a very thin metal. It's actually the structure of the metal comes from a plastic insert. That's what really gives it the strength and rigidity and probably most of the weight here. So uh, a lot of times online, you'll see these with little dents in them because the cap is uh, very easy, dents very easily. You can see here that this gold clip slides out spring loaded. It kind of comes out at an awkward angle. Like that's probably functional, but to me that just looks kind of weird. Uh, I don't know if that's a cork with mine or if that's really how it is, but it just looks a little bit off to me. The Persona has this ridged grip over here and this little metal thing right here. Once you move over to the Emporium, you no longer have these ridges here. So keep an eye out for that. The Emporium will have a smooth piece here. So that's the cap. It just twists on and it's nice because it is 
like a half turn and it's on solid it's a very shallow turn and again that threading you can see it's very shallow and there's literally just one or you know just like that's you know maybe halfway around and another halfway around and that's it very cool the metal up here is gold colored uh, which is pretty nice looking. Again, it's on the ornate side, unnecessarily ornate, but it is pretty nice looking if you want something with a more of a luxury feel. This opens up. And now we get another kind of big surprise with the pen. And that is just this big, ugly hunk of plastic. This is a pen that would have retailed for over $300. So for it to have more plastic in this body is really disappointing. When you look at a pen like this, this is a uh, Pilot Custom 74. Uh, you open this up and it's plastic, it's plastic, nothing fancy going on here. You see the body on the inside is metal. It gives it a nice weight, gives it some strength. It kind of lets you know where your money's going. So to open up, a Lamy, a higher end model, even an old one like this Persona and see all this plastic to me was really disappointing. Uh, I'm just not really sure what could have justified that given the high end price. I'm not sure if they switched over to metal with the Emporium, uh, but with the, this Persona, again, the previous model, definitely just kind of plastic and, and not even nicely done. Like looks super utilitarian. The body itself, I believe this is all metal. I don't think there's any plastic and this one's kind of hard to tell. That threading is metal, which is nice. Whereas the threading in here, to me, looks plastic. Uh, the body has a, a nice weight to it. It's clearly nicely done, even though it's not super heavy. Uh, you know, it's on the light side for the price of the pen, but nice, again, nice weight, it feels like it was well made. It's just like you're not gonna be blown away like with the heft of this piece. One of the nice things about the Lamy roller balls is uh, Lamy does sell their refills. I believe this would be the M63, uh, but you could put in basically any refill you want, which there's nothing weird or special going on here. And then inside this, there's nothing weird or special going on there. So a lot of different refills will work. Here I'm using a, a Pentel. Uh, LR refill and this is I used a uh, this needle tip refill this isn't obviously what came with it it came with a Lamy again M66 or M63 whichever is the capped refill I was confused those two but this does work with almost any pilot or Pentel type refill and you can see perfect fit there it's kind of fun to open this up and have a needle tip but you could put, put whatever you want in there. So that is the Lamy Persona. It's kind of more of a historic quirk than anything now. You could buy these again for fairly reasonable prices online. Uh, and again, I don't think the Emporium was or is very popular. You don't see a lot of them being reviewed or being sold online. So you could probably get a pretty good deal on that as well, or you will be able to fairly soon. So this is the Lamy. And don't go by this refill. I've done a lot of reviews of the Lamy M66 and M63 refill. So watch one of those to see how this writes, but it is cool that you can buy this pen and put basically whatever rollerball refill you want in there. So that is the Lamy Persona fun pen, uh, but I would not really recommend buying it just because even though it's like the Lamy flagship and it's got some cool design features, it's not as nice as you think it's going to be. Definitely wasn't as nice as I thought it was going to be. And it's got some obvious shortcomings like the poorly made cap with that thin metal on it and uh, the extensive use of plastic. So even though it's had a high retail price and the Emporium has an obnoxiously high retail price, 
Uh, I'm not really floored by this pen at all. Uh, it is practical in the rollerball, but only practical compared to the other Emporium pens, like, uh, or the Emporium fountain pen and the other ones. You know, again, a lot of Lamy pens will accommodate almost any rollerball refill, so you don't have to buy the most expensive one to do that, but it is cool that it does it. So, interesting pen, probably really only for people that are getting it as a gift and they don't really know what they're getting, or for Lamy geeks. So, there you have it, Lamy Persona. Thanks for watching.